Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. For a long time, the main application fields of chips have been in consumer electronics such as mobile phones and computers, as well as military industry, medical treatment, home appliances, and other fields. However, with the development of emerging industries such as artificial intelligence and new energy vehicles, the application of chips in these fields is also increasing. It can be said that chips have become one of the cornerstones of modern technology and have a considerable impact. The expansion of chip applications has also caused countries to pay increasing attention to chips. China has also set a goal of achieving 70% chip localization by 2025, and China's chip industry has also begun to develop rapidly. The United States has considerable influence in the field of chip design. Many chip design giants are American companies. For example, Intel, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, AMD, and other manufacturers have a high market share in the chip design field. China is the world's largest chip consumer market, so many U.S. chip companies are highly dependent on the Chinese market. For example, Qualcomm has 60% of its market share coming from the Chinese market, and NVIDIA, Intel and other companies also have about 30% of their revenue from the Chinese market. In the Chinese market, it is precisely for this reason that the US chip giants basically do not want China's local chip industry to develop. As a result, the United States has repeatedly revised its chip shipment rules and introduced chip bans to restrict the shipment of various chips. However, China chip is still developing rapidly, and it is not that simple to curb the development of China chip. The United States has set its sights on semiconductor equipment. Semiconductor equipment such as photolithography machines and etching machines play a very important role in the chip manufacturing process. Photolithography machines are considered by many to be one of the most important semiconductor equipment in the chip manufacturing process. 1. The United States Japan and the Netherlands signed a tripartite agreement to restrict the shipment of semiconductor equipment. However, what people did not expect was that on the day when the Dutch export controls on photolithography machines came into effect, the Dutch semiconductor equipment giant ASML said, it has obtained with a shipping license from the Netherlands you can continue to ship to the Chinese market. The most important thing is that ASML is working hard to ship more semiconductor equipment to the Chinese market during the shipping period. For this reason, ASML's revenue share in the Chinese market is gradually increasing. Judging from the financial report data released by ASML, 48% of its revenue share in the third quarter of 2023 came from the Chinese market, which was still 8% in the first quarter of 2023. Judging from the current news, ASML has shipped a total of 80 lithography machines to the Chinese market in the third quarter of this year, many of which are advanced lithography machines within the scope of export controls. Many people in the industry have said, 
This quantity exceeds the quantity currently needed by Chinese chip foundries, which means that many Chinese manufacturers are hoarding lithography machines in large quantities. In fact, ASML's ability to ship a large number of photolithography equipment to the Chinese market is also related to the reduction in demand in other markets. ASML previously announced a message showing that a key partner manufacturer has delayed the delivery of semiconductor equipment. Combined with the news announced by TSMC that it has delayed the delivery time of semiconductor equipment, it should be that TSMC has delayed the delivery time of equipment. This means that ASML can allocate more production capacity to Chinese manufacturers and ship more lithography equipment. In addition to TSMC, many U.S. chip foundries and semiconductor companies such as Samsung and SK Hynix have also reduced their purchases of semiconductor equipment. This also allows ASML to allocate more production capacity to Chinese users. It can be said that the reduced demand in the U.S. market has assisted ASML's large-scale shipments. In fact, not only ASML wants to expand its share in the Chinese market, but Japanese semiconductor equipment manufacturers Nikon and Canon also have plans to expand their share and shipments in the Chinese market. Nikon has previously stated publicly that it expects to triple its shipments of semiconductor equipment to the Chinese market around 2026. Not only that, Nikon has also recently launched a semiconductor equipment using common components. Although it cannot be compared with the lithography machine shipped by ASML in terms of manufacturing process, this new Nikon equipment has two big advantages. That's because the price is relatively low and common parts are used. The U.S. Department of Commerce has previously reported that it will further optimize the export control rules for photolithography equipment and may consider including parts and components within the scope of shipment restrictions. However, no matter how ASML, Nikon, Canon and other manufacturers plan to expand their presence in the Chinese market. Chinese manufacturers still need to strengthen independent research and development and local substitution. The People's Daily also said, give up illusions about American and Western companies and strengthen the core self-developed technology.